how's it going? This is Jeff uh, from Oakland, California. Uh, old spaghetti eyes. I'm gonna talk to you again about some other shit. <laughs> Not really shit. It's some good stuff here. Um, but I wanted to uh, just touch base with y'all and let you know what I'm checking out. Um, so what I got first of all here is the epic box set Blood Hunger, the films of Jose Larraz. And uh, this is pretty incredible. This is uh, really good. I think it comes off this little part comes off here. We got the nice box. Very, very nice. It's got three discs. Got an 80-page booklet inside. Just chock full of information. It's pretty Pretty amazing, epic stuff. Um, and I probably will do it much justice in terms of descriptions. So let me just read you the quick synopsis off the back so you can get an idea of kind of what we're looking at here, all right? Uh, one of the most underrated and neglected genre filmmakers of his generation, Spanish-born director Jose Ramon Larraz, finally receives his due with its collection of his work, the first of its kind, bringing together a fascinating cross-section of films from the first half of his lengthy cinematic career. Uh, in Larraz's debut feature, the hitherto ultra-rare Whirlpool from 1970, Vivian Neves stars as Tulia, a young model invited to photographer's secluded country home for what purports to be a quiet weekend retreat, but soon turns into a descent into deadly depravity. 1974's Vampires, perhaps the best known and most widely released of all Jose Larraz's films, sees a duo of blood-hungry female vampires prowling the British countryside from where they lure unsuspecting male motorists back to their imposing, dilapidated mansion. Meanwhile, in 1978's The Coming of Sin, in its native, a young gypsy girl experiences a violent sexual awakening as her dreams of a naked young man on a horseback become reality. By turns, terrifying, artful, and scandalous, these three films assembled here all newly restored from original film elements collectively offer film fans a unique perspective on the fascinating, highly varied career of one of the horror genre's most overlooked auteurs. Um, so, I still have yet to check out The Coming of Sin, but I have watched Whirlpool and I have watched Vampires. I'd seen Vampires before, but it was uh, not like this. It looks really good, you know, as, as would be expected from Arrow. It's a beautiful transfer, um, looks great, great contrast. The sound is really cool. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, and uh, I'll show you a quick, quick look at the, the actual disc here. So here we've got uh, Whirlpool, and inside got the reversible artwork, which is right there, if you can see. And this particular one includes uh, original U.S. theatrical cut, newly restored in 2K from the original camera negative. Uh, high definition Blu ray presentation, original uncompressed mono audio, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, brand new audio commentary with Tim Lucas, obsessive recurrence, the early films of Jose Larraz, author and critic Kim Newman reflects on the recurring themes and underlying obsessions linking together the early productions of Jose Larraz. A curious casting, actor Larry Dan on the strange story behind his casting in Whirlpool. Deviations of Whirlpool, featurette comparing the differences between the U.S. theatrical cut and a previously circulated alternate cut of the film. Vivian Neves, interviewed by Michael Parkinson on BBC's Parkinson, originally broadcast in the U.K. in July 1972. Extract from an archival interview with Jose Larraz, Image Gallery, and original U.S. theatrical trailer. Did I mention that all these are region-free? Because they're all region-free. And uh, on uh, Vampires... Here is the new cover of Vampires, and then, of course, inside, you've got the uh, traditional original artwork right there. And this one includes a fully uncut version, newly restored in 2K from the original camera negative, high-definition Blu-ray presentation, original uncompressed mono audio, optional English subtitles, brand new audio commentary with Kat Ellinger. A high-stakes enterprise, a brand new interview with Professor Brian Smedley Aston. By this sign, I'll recognize you. A brand new interview with actress Marianne Morris. Daughter of Dracula. A brand new interview with actress Anolka. A cutthroat business. A brand new interview with actor Brian Deacon. Unhappy camper. A brand new interview with actress Sally Faulkner. Bloodletting on a budget. A brand new interview with makeup artist Colin Arthur. Requiem for a vampire. A brand new interview with composer James Kenelm Clark. Reimagining Vampires, a brand new interview with Larraz's friend and collaborator Victor Madalano, director of the 2015 Vampires remake. 
extract from an archival interview with Jose Laraz, Jose Laraz and Marianne Morris Q&A at 1997 Eurofest, image galleries, U.S. and international trailers. My God, there are so many extras on these things. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, the last one, the one I have yet to check out, but I will probably do this. This is The Coming of Sin. Um, also with the uh, reversal artwork, which is a little bit, whoa, you know. <laughs> but uh, this one also includes it's a, a 2K restoration again. It's got Spanish and English language versions. Um, high definition Blu-ray presentation, original compress press mono audio. Um, uh, new audio commentary with Kat Ellinger and Sam Deegan. Variations of Vice, the alternate versions of The Coming of Sin, exploitation expert Mark Morris on the strange and scandalous release of Jose Larraz's most censored film. Remembering Larraz, author and filmmaker Simon Burrell shares his fond and extensive memories of his longtime friend and collaborator Jose Larraz. His last request uh, from 2005 is 27 Minutes. It's a short film by Simon Burrell made under the guidance of Jose Larraz and starring Spanish horror legend Jack Taylor. And then we got... Uh, Extract from Archival Interview with Jose Larraz, Image Gallery, and Original Spanish Trailer. So, man, there's just so much to check out. It's going to take me a long time to get through all this stuff. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, as far as, like, the uh, the box set, the um, what we got here is an uh, 80-page perfect bound book featuring new writing on the films by Josephine Bodding. Tim Greaves, and Vanity Sellis, alongside an archival interview with Whirlpool composer Stelvio Cipriani. And this is limited to 2,500 copies, this box set. So, yeah. Check it out. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot to get into. It's, uh, and I think it's pretty amazing. It's, it's fun to sort of really dive deep into a particular director. So I really appreciate that they did that. And I, I'm glad to have this. Uh, what else I got here? I got a little uh, Bowling for Columbine uh, from Criterion. And uh, this, is a, this is a great movie. You know, I mean, I have, I have mixed feelings about Michael Moore. You know, I definitely lean to the left politically, for sure. I, you know, I, I, uh, I tend to agree with his overall th theses on things. But I also think that he tends to be pretty manipulative in the way that he directs films. You know, it's it's uh, it comes across as a little uh, heavy-handed and and one-sided. But he's funny and it's entertaining, and you know, and he makes some good points and he gets some captures some pretty amazing things. And this is no exception. Bowling for Columbine is a is a good movie. It's a very very fun watch. It's a very fun watch. Um, and uh, this particular edition uh, has a what we got here? We got a new high definition digital restoration, 2.0 surround, DTS, HD, master audio soundtrack. Uh, Michael Moore makes a movie, a new documentary featuring, featuring Moore, chief archivist Carl Deal, field producers Jeff Gibbs and Megan O'Hara, and supervising producer Tim Lesson. Uh, programs covering Moore's return to Colorado in 2002, his 2003 Oscar win, and three film festival interviews with Moore, excerpts from a 2002 episode of The Charlie Rose Show featuring Moore, uh, Corporate Cops, a 2000 segment from Moore's television series, The Awful Truth, trailer, and an essay by critic Eric Hines, uh, which is also a pretty interesting read. He's, uh, he's a journalist and a film critic, and he kind of talks a lot about how little has changed since it came released, despite the fact that it had broke records for the amount of money it earned and the awards it got, and still, here in the good old USA... These school shootings just keep happening and happening and happening and happening. Um, so, yeah, good movie. Check it out. I, I appreciate it. Uh, and then finally, uh, The Addiction, Arrow's version of The Addiction by Abel Ferrara. Um, I checked it out with the audio commentary from Abel Ferrara, and I gotta tell you, this is, it's kind of like, it's kind of the highlight for me for tonight, for the stuff I watched. You know, I enjoyed all of it. But this guy is is fucking hilarious, you know. He's he uh, he can't be bothered. He's being uh, it's being moderated by uh, what's, the, what's the guy, Brad Stevens, who is a critic and biographer. And I think he only says a couple things here and there. And when he brings it up, it will either just ignores him or just kind of like, shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he's he's very excited by what he did, you know. And he's got a lot of funny things to say. You know, and it's like he's 
it's almost as though he's seeing it for the very first time. But um, but then again, not. You know, he's got some funny anecdotes in there too. But anyway, it's uh, worth the price of admission. Absolutely, this is a great movie all by itself. But um, this commentary just put it over the top. Really good. And uh, this particular edition is a 4K scan of the original camera negative um, approved by the director and the director of photography, Ken Kelsch. Um, also, we got, uh, well, that commentary I talked about. And we have Talking with Vampires, a new documentary about the film made by Ferrara, especially for this release, featuring actors Christopher Walken and Lily Taylor, composer Joe Delia, Ken Kelsch, and Ferrara himself. A new interview with Abel Ferrara. New appreciation by Brad Stevens. Abel Ferrara edits the addiction and archival piece from the time of the production. Original trailer and reversible sleeve, which I will show you now. There we go. Oops, let me take out the booklet here for you. Right there. And then, of course, the booklet. Another nice booklet here. Uh, a lot of good information inside. Stuff by writings by Michael Ewens and Paul Dwayne. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's it. Sorry for being so long winded. I mean, this is seeming pretty epic, but uh, there's really a lot to get into in that, that Blood Hunger uh, box set, which is, I, I think, uh, which is also what makes it exciting. Yeah, I'm a big sucker for these extras, and uh, this is no exception. This is uh, a lot of fun stuff to get into. Um, other news, uh, I heard today that uh, Hell Comes to Frogtown, which got a UK release um, on Arrow, is coming to America. So, <laughs> Hell Comes to America, Frogtown now. Uh, but there's not a label yet, but they are going to be porting over the extras from Arrow, whoever it's going to be. There's been talk of that. Um, Silent Hill is getting a collector's edition release from Scream Factory. And Mississippi Burning is being released by Kino Lorber with a brand new 4K restoration on May 21st. And then I'm hearing a lot of things about this movie, Knife and Heart. Um, looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Kind of like a, a weird blend of genres. Um, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to hear it. See it. Check it out. I want to check it out. It looks pretty, It's going to be pretty cool. All right. I'm tongue-tied and being wacky. Sorry. Being wacky. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else do I got to say? That's all I got to say. I've taken up a lot of your time. And I'm going to take up more of your time, hopefully, in the future. So please subscribe or like or say hello or tell me to shut up or tell me to do something different if I'm missing something that you want to hear. Uh, oh, I should also add that uh, Bowling for Columbine is Region A and so is The Addiction. Although I'm assuming there must be a UK release of The Addiction through Arrow as well. But, um, but... This one is Region A, the one I have. So that's it. Cheers. Be well. Have fun. Watch some movies and say hello anytime. All right. Cheers. Bye.